everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it's gonna be about interview questions. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is because I had a couple people ask me like what did they ask you at the interview um, and the extern interviews, um, there's, I don't think there's a difference. Um, I believe they ask you the same questions. Um, I believe in externship, they do the interview so that when they hire you on, they know like what to expect because they already did the interview for you. Uh, so um, that's why I'm assuming like that that's what they do it for because you know they hire you on the spot because you show them what you could do So uh, I'm, I'm gonna answer some questions like how I would answer them and some tips on how to style um, First things first of course always dress up to go into an interview even, even though it's just an extern you always have to dress up So I have this top here like a button-up top and you, um, I would just pair this with some black slacks and some flat, um, flat black, what the hell are they called? The, I get the flats, yeah, black flats. So I would just pair that with black flats. Um, I could wear heels if I wanted to, but I am actually pretty tall, so I try not to put too much attention to, you know, my height, because I am pretty tall. Um, so I try not to wear heels during interviews, and just because I just don't want to trip as well because you never know because you when you're nervous you're gonna trip so I always try to stick with flats but if you could walk in heels like like a badass then go ahead wear the heels um but yeah anything like this like this top is just like a with a collar um it is a little open um I mean I've gone to interviews had no issues with it but if I do feel like a little bit too much revealing I would just um put like a like a pin here but um, it doesn't show anything, so it is a pretty good top. Um, and I do wear a jacket if I wanted to, but since it's hot, I wouldn't wear this with the jacket. So I'll just wear it open and just wear a slacks with, with a black belt, like a tiny black belt with it. Um, with black flats, of course. But it's all up to you. You can wear whatever you want, whatever you feel comfortable with, but make sure it looks professional. Like, I would try to avoid skirts, of course. Um... I just, I mean, if you want to wear a skirt, you can, but I don't know. I just feel like, I, I don't know. I just, in my opinion, I just, I just wouldn't wear a skirt. I would just prefer black slacks because I try to make it as professional as possible. And uh, I would never wear my hair down. I used to when I was younger, um, but now I always put it back. So I just, you know, of course, put it back like this. Just fix it up, you know. And I'll just put it back like this, so it's nothing special. Um, you can wear your hair if you wanted to, but um, I try to keep it as professional as I can, so they know I'm being dead serious about this um, interview. Um, but yeah, now with the questions, and let me just answer a few questions. I'm gonna look down because I have it on my iPad. Sorry, there's my daughter in the down there. Hold on, give me a second. What are you doing, baby? You want to say hi? <laughs> say hi. Look, say hi. <laughs> no? Okay, so let's answer some questions. So usually the first question they always ask in every interview from extra to a regular job is always tell me about yourself. Now with this question, it is a little difficult. Uh, I remember when I was younger, I would answer it as in myself, like personal wise, but that's not what they wanna know. They wanna know as in work wise, they just say that. So uh, when they ask you to tell me about yourself, you tell them what your experience is, like what you have, how can I say this? Let me read what I, uh, what I, what I will put. So this is what I would say in an externship. So I told um, my dermatology office when they asked me, tell me, tell me about yourself. I told I am currently seeking a externship position. I am needing 160 hours. I can take vitals, draw blood and give injections. I am a quick learner, responsible, organized and given the opportunity, I would like to complete my hours with your team. So um, that sounds really, you know amazing you know when you say that to the um 
whoever you know whoever's hiring you they'll be like oh wow um because no one like i don't know like it's just something that they are impressed with like i impressed my dermatology office by saying this and honestly i don't he didn't even ask me anything else after that he said okay and he just told me what they do and everything and showed me around and that was it so you could get lucky like that um I have been pretty lucky just coming up with like tell me about yourself because you're telling what you do you're telling what why you're here what are you looking for so um when it's a real job like I've have gone to a couple um regular interviews so what I just um what I I'm just rewarded so I would just say um I just completed my extern hours I am fresh out of high um, high school I'm just fr fresh out of school but I can uh I am a fast learn learner quick um what am I saying? Take it back. Okay. So I currently completed my 160 hours at my externship and I am fresh out of school, but I am a quick learner, responsible, and reliable. And I'll tell them what I could do, draw blood, injections, take vitals. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. Take vitals. And I was just stopped right there and they're like, okay. Okay, and then um, usually they'll ask me um, after that, you know, what are your weaknesses and strengths? So always bring your strengths first. First, um, So my strength, I always say, is my self-confidence, um, that I have a lot of self-confidence and positive attitude no matter what the situation is. Um, or you could say I can handle the responsibility of multiple tasks. So try to... Well, you always want to make yourself sound so good, you know, like you can do this, you know? I always like to involve, um, I'm sorry, excuse me. I always like to let them know that I can multitask because, you know, every job is multitasking. So they want to know if you can handle it. So just let them know. And of course, your attitude, they want to know, they want to make sure that you're not going to have an attitude. Like they want you to be so serious, positive attitudes, like we're going to get this done. So you, could, you should always mention that, but it depends on what your strength is. Um, just always make sure to, that you sound really good. Now my weakness. So whenever you mention a weakness, always, of course, mention it, but tell them how you're trying to overcome it. So don't just say, that's my weakness and that's it. It looks like you're not even trying to make it better. So the way I put it, so first, with the externship, uh, I'll say my weakness is I am new to this field, but I am very fast learner, willing to learn. Now you can say this with any job, like the externship or regular interviews, if it's your you know first job or first time out in the field. So I have been saying this in my interviews, you know, telling them that you know I am fresh out of school. I understand by you know fast learner and willing to learn. And like I said, they're always impressed with that. Or you can say, um, my other one I had is my weakness. I tend to take more tasks than I can handle and end up overwhelming myself. But by overcoming that weakness, I prioritize my task. So you see right there, I tell them what was my weakness, but how am I overcoming that? So I always mentioned how you're overcoming. Like an easy one, let's say um, they ask you if you're bilingual, right? Um, I am not that fluent, so I'll tell them I'm not fluent, but I am willing to take Spanish classes or learn more Spanish to, um, to, you know, like, to, to, oh my God, I don't know why I can't do this. Um, you know, to be able to work here, you know, if that's something that is a requirement that I'm willing to to improve myself. So I always mention that, that like you want to improve yourself is something that that they require um most I'm, I'm pretty sure they won't tell you like you have to take spanish classes but it's something like oh wow this girl this person is really trying so she's not like just doing like whatever so they are really willing to try to get this job um another one is why should we hire you i always hate this question especially they put why should i hire you instead of the other person i interview that really gets me on the spot i'm like oh my god like it is kind of hard um the way i would say is i believe i'm a good fit for this position because this is a great environment for me to use my skills and also to learn on the way to help improve them as well 
that is a really good answer for this um also you could list like the things you do you know so well i am really responsible um i am reliable i'm never late like make yourself sound good you could lie about it don't worry about it they're not gonna find out they'll they're not gonna find out um another question why sweetheart are you those are like the main questions they usually ask me and then it'll stop right there and then they'll start telling me what they're looking for not looking for like what they do at the office um usually like when they like your answers already they would just move on um sometimes i don't even get past the first question because they, they just really like my answer and just end up telling me what they do and give me like how much they're offering when can i start and everything um but there are other questions if they keep going now don't get me wrong if they keep going don't think you're doing anything wrong some people um do take this really serious for the interview questions so they'll just keep asking all these questions until the end um so i'm gonna go on um so where do you see yourself in five years so you would just tell not personal remember just you know in the in the work environment so I would say five years from now, I would like to be in a management position till, the, till then I would like to gain the experience and eventually become manager. And also I would like to learn a lot from my team members. That's a really good way to answer that question. Um, but like I said, it's however you word it or however you want to put it in. Uh, what would you want to be in five years with that company? So you will answer what would you want to be in there? Uh, how well do you work under pressure? So, I would say I feel like pressure could be a good thing. Working under pressure has taught me how to organize and balance my workload. So that's telling them that I can handle under pressure because I'm telling them that I've been through under pressure and it has taught me how to organize and balance my workload. So that's telling them, that, okay, when she's under pressure, she got this, she could do this that's a really good answer i know i'm just saying these are good answers but this is like the best way to answer these questions because trust me in the beginning when i used to answer these questions i have no idea what the heck i was saying uh i would just be like um now i'm a little bit more like this like I, i'm able to answer i'm like nothing i don't get nervous as much like i used to as well it's okay if you get nervous, you know, sometimes they understand. Um, I don't want to say sometimes, but they do understand. And it's okay, you know, it's okay. There's plenty of other jobs if you don't get it. Um, how do you handle stressful situations? How I would um, answer this, I would say I stay motivated by thinking about the end results, reminding myself to take a step back and stay positive. So that's telling them, you know, I'm not going to freak out. I'm not going to take my anger on everyone just, just because there's a, st a stressful situation going on and just telling them like i'm gonna stay calm and make sure every everything goes well um what else how would you handle a difficult patient so the answer to always this is the patient or customer is always right even though they're not sometimes they're not but they're always gonna be right so the way I would answer this is I would first calm the patient down, listen to the patient to get a better understanding of what's going on with the situation, then I will go talk to the manager to come up with a solution. Now that is a really good answer because you're involving the you're in, you're involving you're getting the manager or anybody in charge to help you with the situation because most times when it, there's an angry or um, yeah, angry patient or um, angry you know customer of course they always want to talk to the manager so instead of getting them right away and not explain to them what's going on they're going to look at you like you didn't even try so always let them know that you did calm the patient down that you talk to them and um you under, you know you explain to them what's going on with the situation and you went to them to get the, you know the help so that's telling them you know you're letting them know that you need help and you're you know you know you're taking care of this patient because you know that you want them to be taken care of right my daughter just unplugged my uh, ring light 
Um, give me one second. become a medical assistant now I'm gonna put my personal reason why I became a medical assistant so I put I enjoy helping people and want to make a difference and I believe medical assistant would be a good start for me now that is an okay answer I mean it will still get you by because I haven't had any issues with that question but I haven't had anybody ask me that question I believe only one person asked me that question and they were okay with the answer um I feel like there is a better way to say that so what whatever your what is your reason why you became a medical assistant so you could say um you know medical assistant expired me um because I wanted to go for nursing and I wanted to you know like most times becoming a medical assistant is that you wanted to help people so sometimes people don't want to hear that, you know, like, because that's everyone's reason why they want to become a medical assistant. Um, or you could say medical assistant um, expired me to become, want me to further my career in nursing. And this is a good start for me to see how I feel about it. Um, I feel like there's no, there's, there's nothing wrong with my answer. Um, but everyone has their own opinion, but I don't think it's the best answer. I'm telling you myself, like, I don't think that's the best answer. I'm still iffy about it. Like, I'm trying to figure out a different way to say it, but I haven't had any, any, many people ask me that. It's mainly, tell me about yourself, the number one. What is your weakness and strength? Um, why should we hire you? And those are the three main questions I have been asked in these past two I think one two two weeks I believe I've been finding jobs so those are the main questions they've been asking me um so far every job has offered me the position but I have turned them down because it's not the pay I'm looking for um and also because the drive as well um I think it's pretty hard to get into medical assistant right now due to COVID I don't know why it's so red right here. Um, I mean, I have had I had luck. I have one job offer, which I did give them an answer that I will be starting next week. But with that, that's actually with my dermatology office. Um, they were actually offering me more money than everyone else was, and even though I was complaining about it, I mean, I'm gonna take the position because everyone else is not giving me the pay I want um so I'm just gonna go back and get my experience because that's the reason why the pay is so low everywhere because I don't have the experience you know I'm just fresh out of school um so they're that's what they could work with me and there are far too so why am I gonna go for less money and drive 40 to an hour just to go to this job that's not paying me as much compared to this the, the, the dermatology which is only 10 minutes away from my house and my mom's on the way so it's easier for me to drop off my daughter and just go straight to work then five minutes after that and get paid more so I I'm just staying just to get to gain my experience but I am still looking um, for other, you know, I'm still applying at other places, hoping to get uh, a better pay. But so far, I haven't had any luck. Um, I know I'm sound like, kind of ungrateful because, you know, everyone doesn't get the job offer, you know. And so far, I have been getting it, it's just not the pay I want, which sucks, you know. Like, especially this one job, I really, really liked it. He was so friendly. Um... He laughed with me. We made jokes. Like, you know, we made jokes in an interview. Like, that's how you know it, it was going to be a fun work environment. And he really wanted me to work. But the pay wasn't worth it. And the drive, it was an, almost an hour drive 
and that's with the traffic and that traffic always has accidents in the other side from my mom's house so if I had to drop off my daughter it's from the other side and then had to drive back to to the job you, you know like it's just I just need to find something that's convenient for me that's what's hard about being a mom because we have to think about how we're gonna drop off our kid and try to make it back you know try and drive back on time to get to work and we don't know about traffic and I already know the traffic's off because I used to work in an area which was years ago and traffic never ever ever was any good so I already know what's gonna happen if I do take that position so that's why I said no decided to put up with dermatology um but yeah that's what I have so far even though this has nothing to do with the interview questions I just want to mention that um but yeah I haven't had any issues with these questions um but if you guys have any more questions um I will I would like to answer them if you want um but so far this has been getting me by I haven't had any issues so like I said, like always come professional, push your hair back, wear something nice. Um, I've seen people, well, I heard people go in with just black scrubs and um, to the interviews with no issues. That's okay as well. But just in my opinion, I just prefer to dress up for the look just so they know, you know, this girl's really serious. Like you, you want to be that person like they're, oh, they're really serious. They really want this job. And always come on time, of course. Just come 20 minutes early if you can. 10 minutes, it's okay. Just don't ever come right on that time or late because, you know, that's showing them that you don't care. So I always come way before a little bit. And yeah, sometimes I'm sitting in the lobby just a little bit. But most times they'll take me in. Oh, okay, you're here. Um, always smile. Yeah, I always smile. I know it's hard. Uh, actually, I've been doing interviews with masks on, so it is really hard. Like, I, I think I only took off my mask with the externship because I didn't feel comfortable talking underneath it. But everywhere else, I had to wear a mask during the interviews. And I kind of don't like that because it kind of doesn't give you the confidence, I guess. Um, but I, I really don't like that. But... I have I haven't had any issues, but I just I'm not into that. It's just been very difficult with the mask on, and then sometimes it's so hard to breathe, and you're you're nervous, so you're kind of breathing hard through the mask. Um, so I mean, you can ask them to take off the mask, but I'm pretty sure some of them will be like, no, no, you gotta keep it on, because I had because usually with interview you're supposed to handshake. I have not hand you know handshake anybody at all during all these interviews due to COVID, so it's been hard. Um, but yeah, I haven't had any issues with these. Um, remember, come on time, dress really, you know, appropriate. Of uh, light makeup. So the makeup I'm wearing right now, um, it's pretty fine. It's okay. Um, I could go lighter if I wanted to. I didn't have to do my uh, my eyes. I could just go blank if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, just light makeup. Don't do eyeliner. Don't do so much eyeshadow. Don't. I I believe you shouldn't wear eye uh, eyelashes. But, like I said, if that's your personality, you go ahead and wear your eyelashes. But I would try to keep it as minimal as you can because you don't want to, like, kind of, like, do it with the oh, Like, oh, my God. Just keep it minimum, like, you know? Because um, I usually come with my eyeliner, too. And I used to have my, um, my, um, my eyelashes, too. And, honestly, I haven't gotten jobs for that. So, that's why I, st I learned that, okay try to go as natural as possible i try not to lower lipstick i try to put light bronzer um blush and just light makeup eyebrows i have to do my eyebrows but i don't think they're too out there so i've i'm pretty sure that's fine and always put your hair back you don't have to you could just you know do this as well just put your hair back like this this is okay as well but I just prefer having my hair back because it's out of the way. I don't have to like do this every single time. So that's okay as well. I think that's all I have for you guys. Um, like I said, if you have any more questions or any questions that you've heard from interviews, you could comment below and I will try to answer them like as much as, um, as you know, how I can to give you like a good answer for it. But these are the most um, questions they've asked me so far 
well, these are the interview questions I've dealt with since the past six years, I believe. So I don't think this is anything new. But yeah, um, I will update you guys about my dermatology office. I just haven't had any time. Well, I have time now. So maybe tomorrow I will upload the video because I don't start that until Monday. But I am still job searching for other places just in case. So I'll let you guys know and I'll see you guys in my next video.